Hi, my name is Chris for the National Parents Organization. And in this short video, I wanna talk about co-parenting apps. Now we've noticed some negative comments on social media about co-parenting apps saying, well, they're just a cash grab or they're there to take advantage of families. I want you to know that this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted it to take a few minutes to talk about my experience using a co-parenting app after divorce. First of all, what is this co-parenting app thing? Well, it's a website or an app on your phone that you can use to communicate with your co-parent. Now, sometimes courts will mandate that parties use these, and other times the parties will agree to it when a lawyer or other professional recommends it. And sometimes it's the parents that want it. Now, they're supposed to reduce conflict when co-parenting after divorce, and they do this by giving you tools to track expenses. They have a calendar. They'll also have a bank where you can put information in, and you can also write messages back and forth. Simply put, it puts all the communication tools in one place. The other thing is lawyers and judges can also log in and review these communications. They are designed to take the emotion out of communicating with your co-parent. And they give you all of these tools so basically you don't have to write a message. Because the last thing you should do is write a message that you may regret. And writing messages when you're emotional, it's easy to put that emotions into the message. And remember, emotions can be bad or at least not helpful in communicating with your co-parent. I know this has helped my family, especially during the high conflict part early on. So how does it work? Instead of writing a message, you would go into the app and write an expense, and then the other party would approve it. All the information is there, the receipt and picture of it, who it's for, how much it was, and what the percentage split is. There's also a place where you can go in and put information on schools, teachers, doctors, and coaches. And there's also a calendar for school events and sporting events and doctor's appointments. And you know what, you can still use these apps even when you're no longer in high conflict. And the great thing is if you ever do go back to court, all that information will be right there for your lawyer to look at and pick out the right piece of information to use in your case. So the question is, is it right for your family? Could this be helpful? What's your experience with these apps? Check out the article, Eight Best Co-Parenting Apps to Download After Divorce. And remember, please support the National Parents Organization. Remember to like, comment, and most important of all, share this video. Thank you for supporting Shared Parenting.